cameras out if you want. Get your cameras out if you want. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, you guys said you wanted to, uh, you wanted to chat to everybody, so, uh, uh, some, uh, some, uh, new members are, uh, are, uh, taking over from Chris and Mark from yesterday, and they, uh, indicated that they want to address you guys, so, go ahead, you, you guys can introduce yourselves, I suppose. So, hopefully, many, if not most of you guys have recognized Mark and Chris over the last couple of days. We are the new Mark and Chris, and Greg, and this is Roy. Uh, our whole purpose, as hopefully you've noticed, is to communicate on behalf of the RCMP. We're interested in finding a way to sort this whole situation out. And right now, our communication to you is that a decision has been made to open up the highway. So we understand that the reason that you're here is to block it, to keep it shut down. We know that. Uh, but the highway has to become open. This is going to happen in the near future. So the plan now is to invite everybody to take the next step. That being, let's get out to the trucks and you can start moving it on your own. That is obviously the best way to sort this problem out. If we're not able to facilitate that, then we'll be going through and removing the trucks on our own along with the people associated to it. This is the message that we've been given from the people that are in charge, and this is what we are handing off to you. Clearly, the most important thing is that this is done in a safe manner, in the most, the most efficient manner. You guys are all, you guys are all here to support your livelihood. And we all support that. You know, we're doing a job too. And the worst thing, the worst thing for you guys is to end up having a truck seized or impounded or forfeited to the crown because of what's happening here today is not what we want to have happen so for the last four days these guys have been working to try to get the same message across to you to get everybody moving on their own making the right decision so that this thing happens in the best way for you guys moving moving forward i think it's pretty clear nationally that the message that you're trying to get across in one way or another has been has been given. Everybody knows what's going on here. And now it's just a matter of what do you do next? How long can you stay? Forever. So we can we're, stay. We're gonna stay. Yeah. Two weeks and we will stay. Yeah. Yeah. We will stay. We will stay. We we can make this easy too yeah. for you guys yeah. is by you guys working with us. Yeah. Like the, we're we're in this together. We all want the same thing. We want this stuff done. Yep. The no whole mandates. mandates, they have to be finished. And we're not here to, to cause issues. The minute restrictions get taken down, we'll leave. We get that the message has been delivered, we but get it hasn't it. Yeah. helped. Like, everything's still the same. That's right. This whole media thing that we're just a little fringe minority, there is more and more happening, just so you guys know. This is not a small fringe minority. Okay. What's your name, sir? My name is George. George? Yes. I, I appreciate you bringing that out and mm -hmm. talking on behalf of the group. Right. It's, you know, we've got to have somebody that's willing to speak up and mm -hmm. talk. I get that. That's why I'm here today, mm -hmm. is to be the one on behalf of the RCMP that's speaking up and talking to you guys. Right. What we have been told to impart upon you is that today is the day that we're opening the highway. And the reason that that's happening is because we've been instructed to do so by the people that are in charge of us. So when will so you when guys you stand say, up for us? When you like, say that, are you guys not tired? Like, do you not have families? Absolutely. Do you not have families that this affects? Yes. Like, this is the time where we all work together. We need you guys to make a choice as well today to stand with us to make this change. We have mm -hmm. so much going on right now. We have so much support right now. You guys can decide to say F you to your superiors okay. and say we're not doing this anymore. It's happened in other police forces. You know, it has to... It, okay, I'm you guys, stop you there. Well, There's I know that. option that we have. Well, yes, you do. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you yes, have yes, the option. Actually, you have the option. That's the one you choice do you do have in Canada. Do it, yeah. do it right yeah. now. Yeah, exactly. You have the option. Do you stand for humanity 
Yeah. You'd rather come in and strong arm, no negotiations? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's it. More important than okay, than everyone else. That's not an option. You say you want to take us by force? You can try! Hey. 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 hey, no, no, no. This is going to stay Communication. Be, I'll be 100% clear. Every single one of us that is a member of the RCMP and that is working together with us today wants the very last thing to be the use of force. We agree. We, we do agree. not want that at all. Absolutely. We don't want to seize a single truck. Amen. We don't want to put anybody's livelihood in jeopardy. That is the very last resort. But. We've been told that this has to come to an end. Well, tell and them it's we not are the happening. ones that are going to have to do this job. Just tell like you're the ones that have to do the job. We can't do our job. We can't do, we can't do our job because of what the big wigs are say, yeah. saying and doing. We need you to rise up as well. You need to say this is enough. We've done it for two years. As, as have we. As have we. You cannot agree it needs to end. I would very much like to see the pandemic come to an end. Then help us. You then help us. We're asking for help. Because this is no longer a pandemic, it's a pandemic. So, so the message was, it's time to move. You're invited to come and move on your own. And you're invited to stand with us as well. And as that takes place, it won't be taking place. The other officers that are moving into position now, are going to start taking enforcement action. That's fine. Okay. So if you are of the mind that you will be placed under arrest and your truck seized, that sort of thing, I guess the next best thing is to go out there and present yourself. It's a really good We're case for just to stop. We're here. Well, yeah. it's threatening us. I, I just, I, I just like to say, officer, as an officer of the court, I'm extremely disappointed that we came down here in good faith to try to negotiate with law enforcement and with the authorities to try to end this, uh, end end this uh, this set of circumstances uh, amicably and uh, you know in a, in a manner that is in the best interest of all parties. And I think that you know you guys are just essentially uh, saying no go. And it's, uh, it's a very what clear message. What we're doing here today is presenting a message. That is the message. Your message. Your message. Yeah. But yeah. relay the message back that we don't want, uh, we're not done Absolutely. yet. Absolutely. This is a two-way communication. But, but you're not making it a communication. You're saying you are moving now. That's not That's That not is not communication. That's demanding. So that's not the message that Greg said, okay? Okay, we've listened to you. Greg's trying to tell you the message, so I just want to make this clear. And then we can talk to your legal representative and see if another option becomes available, but we need to deliver this message. And in return, we have heard you, and we will deliver that message okay. back to our center. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. But Thank the communication you. and direction we've been given is this. You, if you do not wish to be here or do not wish to have your truck impounded and be arrested, you are being given the option to move out to your vehicle and leave. Once we start enforcement action, people will be arrested, trucks will be impounded and seized. That is the message we were told to deliver, so we are delivering it. In return, George, correct, George? Yep. We will deliver your message that that is not what you want to do, that you have no intent to comply. What, what we want is communication on a different level. We, we want communication on a non-demanding, like whoever your authorities are, they need to talk to us. This this is unnecessary. You guys, I understand you're doing your job. We're doing. I I'm I'm not at my work. I'm here. I left my work behind to stand for you guys as well. Yes. So, just come in here and just demand, and we're forcing this. That's not the right thing to do. We want to do this together. But let's do this together. Get your authorities to come and sit down with us. We will communicate. We want to communicate, but we want to be heard. We don't want demands. We want to be heard. And when we do that, we can we can work this out peaceably. We want to. But for you to come and say you're going to arrest everybody and tow everybody out of here, that's not the right thing to do. So we're giving you the option, again, to clarify. Those that wish to leave now are being given that option. Those that do not wish to leave, 
Don't leave. That is your option. We're giving you choices. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's really good choices. Let your superiors know they need to change the option. So if you try to give your three-year-old I'm not like sure that I'm going to be able to deal with the rest peaceful protests. I'm sorry, I didn't hear about. Can you sleep tonight if you would arrest peaceful protesters out here? Nobody's doing anything. Nothing. Wrong. That's right. Uh, For the education sir, of our children. Oh, hold on, sir. The lawyer. You house. have you have a, a lawyer here that's representing yes. you. It would be now a good time for you to explain to them what is going wrong. And what law As the person who does understand the law and the jeopardy I've that they're facing. I've already given these guys legal advice, so if you guys don't have to tell me how to do my job, I've so already we'll chatted with this group. Yeah, and that's, and that's exactly that's what we should do. So, so we're going to meet offline with your lawyer. He can uh, speak to you whatever direction you've given him. We will have that conversation. Because we are not empowered to get into a debate with 80 or 100 people here. And it just won't happen. Well, there's more than that. <laughs> yeah, so so either way, get in touch with your authority so that we can sit down and have a peaceful conversation. We have we we haven't heard been we haven't been heard. No. That's the only reason we're here. We haven't been heard. When we make when we ask for something, we're totally denied. This is our platform right now, and we're asking to talk. We're asking to talk. So for you to come in here and just demand, that's not the right thing. That's not how that's not how this works. Like this, we're part of Canada. We're, we're not a dictatorship. Are, are, or are we? Maybe I ought to ask. George, obviously that's totally the, totally the case, but we're four days into this now. That's right, and we still haven't sat down with anyone to communicate. Lots of time for communication. There hasn't been. With who? There hasn't been. Just let your superiors know that we want to sit down and conversate. That's why we're here. It doesn't need to be Jason Kenney, but just somebody. Like, we, we, we want peace. We we want to do this the right way. But this is our platform to get attention. This is the third day. Um, and I, I, I'd like to discuss those with you guys prior to the enforcement action. And we can't sit down and talk to you. No, that, and that's fine. And, and, and I'm going to chat with you guys. Um, just everybody, uh, uh, attention please. Just uh, bear in mind the legal advice that I gave you a couple times this morning. If you weren't present uh, when I gave that legal advice, please ask uh, somebody here. Uh, it's, there's, there's a couple three, a couple points about your charter and constitutional rights. Just bear those in mind, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and, uh, and I'll give you more information uh, when I have it. I'm going to speak to these, uh, these officers. Thank you. Yeah, we can talk to you, and then you're free to talk to them okay. again. And uh, maybe we should just go for a stroll outside. I'm happy, sure. to, I'm happy to walk in the cold. Thank you for giving us your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.